Okay, so I realized that comment probably made entirely no sense. So I figured I'd, I'd do a short little video to show you what I'm talking about, okay? So imagine for a second that you've got your feet in an athletic stance, you're on front of the tee pad, and you're trying to throw it that way. I'm trying to throw it right at you, okay? Okay, now imagine there's a line that goes right here through where I want to throw it, and it goes straight behind me, okay? And it's about six inches off your chest, so it's about middle of a disc off of your chest, okay? Get your feet set, good and confident in your footing, okay? And then this line here, take your disc and reach as far back as you can along that line, okay? Back up a little bit. So the line goes straight through here, straight to the middle of the fridge door there. I'm reaching straight back there, okay? I'll switch around. Reaching straight back there. I'm trying to throw the middle of the fridge door. It's important to know you don't want to reach over here because then the, the line has to go through you. And discs don't go through people, so that won't work out. Basically, fridge door, you want to have a straight line, okay? Back this way. What was I going to say next? All right, take your disc. You reach all the way back across that line as you can, all right? Now, a good drill to feel this is to grab onto something and try and pull it, okay? I'll open up the fridge if I actually do that. But if you grab onto something way back here and you try and pull it, you can feel the muscles down your back right here. You can feel your hips. You can feel your shoulders. You can feel your arm. You can feel everything that needs to pull to get the disc to fly, okay? And also, when you reach as far back as you can, look at where my weight is. My weight is all the way over my left foot, and my front foot is just the toe, okay? It's important, all right? So you reach way back here on a straight line, and then pull the disc on this line straight forward, okay? This is the most powerful thing because the shortest distance between two objects is a straight line. So you're going from straight back on this line, straight through forward, okay? And that's, that's where you wanna start, okay? As you just slowly bring the disc from straight back, straight forward, you can feel the timing of everything that needs to happen. Sometimes I'll just sit here and snap it. I'll turn it sideways so I don't actually let go of it. Just sit here and snap it, and you can feel the disc go straight. You can feel the power. You can feel everything, okay? Now, something that's important to note is that your weight shift. You need to have your weight all the way on the back, and then you can't just throw it from back here. You've got to get your weight forward, but you don't want to be all the way on your front foot when you try and throw. This feels like a lot of power when you, when you, when you, when you try and... When you try and do it, you feel like I'm gonna run up and I'm gonna get on front and I'm just gonna throw the disc. It's gonna go really far because I got all this weight behind it, right? No. What happens is you get all your weight behind it and then as soon as you get up on that front foot, you're gonna keep going. You're gonna step past. So what's really important to do is to get your weight back and then throw the disc, apply all the power of your shot while the disc is in front of you and your weight is between your feet. Okay, turn this way. While the disc is in front of you and the weight is between your feet is when you really want to try and throw it. It's called, it's, some people call it the snap, some people call it the hit. It's when you want to try and apply your power to your disc. Because then what's going to happen is all this power that's coming from way back here. I don't know, I'm probably out of frame right now. All this power that's coming from way back here comes through you. And then as you throw the disc, all your weight and all the power transfers into the disc and you end up on your foot. Okay, you end up on one foot. Okay? If you wait, if you go like that, you're not gonna you're gonna fall, you're gonna fall through and maybe take a couple steps. It's okay to take one step, but you ideally you would go from all the way back here, apply your power in the middle, and then finish up on one leg, okay? On a straight line from back to the front. Okay, I'm an awful presenter and I'm sure I rambled way too, way too long, but I hope that helps out a little bit with your problem. Thanks for watching.